with her, which here her own so what's up? So you're gonna clap for him the moment she walks. We're gonna take it, we're gonna take it all the way to the top. We're gonna start clapping from the moment she steps there, okay? Aya, are you ready? Three, two, one, two other kazi. My goodness, absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. You are amazingly beautiful, young, and I, the, the guts you have right now to be able to stand here and do that, I think, future politician, I hope. Yeah, we need good leaders to come out, huh? Uh, the CEO of Kenya Films Classification Board, Mr. Christopher Wambua. Uh, the CEO of Kenya Films Corporation Commission, uh, Mr. Timothy Owase. Anga MD, Kenneth Bett and your entire team. My fellow colleague in Parliament, Richard Salachi, MP for Dagoretti North. The CEO of Bonfire, who I've been a client to quite a few times. <laughs> uh, Simon <laughs> Kabu, uh, Mr. Rufo Gaetano, uh, the proprietor of this amazing building. And I know you've gone way out of your way to ensure that Anga gets back on track and they appreciated you for that. The clergy, amazing Kenyan actors, and all stakeholders of the Kenya film industry. I want to say good evening. Now, when I heard this film is three hours, we'll be here <laughs> after midnight if we don't get started. I want to say congratulations for the investment for the entire team that is Kenyan. I recently went for a premiere at uh, Westgate for a locally produced movie called Mercy. And it was about GBV and the experience of a young girl uh, who experienced rape, and it was Kenyan actors. And I tell you, it was a short film, but very impactful. We have a lot of social ills. Patricia Lachi mentioned uh, drug and substance abuse. And we need movies to educate our people. Now, we have movies that are premiering in, in Netflix. Kenyan made movies, and I'll tell you one thing. Kenyans are watching them. And they're watching them because they're always trending on the Kenyan list. So we have that patriotic uh, buzz in us, you know, where we want to support our own. I would suggest, because we're also Kenyans who like good deals, and we also like freebies. So you can say, buy one, get one free, you know? All right? You know, you can do all that, or come in, popcorn, Monday. I, I remember there was a time when you had terrific Tuesdays. And, uh, and happy Mondays, <laughs> okay? Uh, and Wednesdays, uh, you know, I mean, Kenyans just love freebies. So if you come up with those kind of promotions, because I saw you have, uh, you have tickets, uh, you're going for 750 per person. But if you have nights, you'll get to understand the Kenyan side. You remember we were once told we were very peculiar, right? And we are very peculiar. At that time we thought, uh-uh, no, what, this guy's insulting us. But we are peculiar in the way we do things, right? So I have partnered with Kenya Film Commission uh, to produce local content and to air uh, movies that were made by Kenyans through their iPhones uh, and all their smartphones. And when they did that, we chose winners and it was fantastic. We've also done partnering with Kenyans to produce locally manufactured uh, designs where we actually gave prizes. So there are many initiatives. I think we could probably come up with uh, a movie production where we boost uh, through the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, right? Uh, somebody who produces a trailer, then we sit together and we see which of these trailers should we all support to make a good movie. And then we take it from there because I know it's really tough. I have Sabina who works in my office um, uh, for the culture and creatives. And she has also struggled as a film producer right, to produce films that she's always pitching, and it's tough out there. So I think when we're asking for budgets, right, uh, ask for budgets to enhance local production. I think that is so important. Uh, you need to ask for budgets, because most people don't have the money to produce, and then if we want to actually help the bottom up, then we need to actually facilitate them. It could create a lot of jobs for actors and actresses and producers and editors and you name it. I mean, from, you know, the, there are so many areas in film. It's not just uh, the actors and the actresses. There's so many back-end things that happen. 
But for me, I want to say, let's get started. Let's watch this uh, great movie. And then I will do what I do always. Uh, I will, I mean, I have my one million followers. I noticed that I need to really help you boost your numbers. So <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to tag, um, tag as much as I can today. And then I will, I, yeah, I've already followed you. Uh, on Twitter and then I'm also going to make sure that we give out some free tickets right so we encourage people to come in and watch right but I really think come up with those special offers right so that people can actually feel the need to come because you know what the only way to hook a customer is to let him experience what you're selling right so discounts freebies um, buy one get one free uh, this, this day, girls come in free. This day, kids come in free. You know, you can do that and you will actually be able to sensitize people. I agree that we need to have a film uh, theater um, everywhere in every county. I mean, it's terrible when we have one theater for two million people, right? We need to boost this. But the only way to boost this is to make it profitable. You see, Kenyans will only do something if it's profitable. And for it to be profitable, we definitely need to fill up all these chairs. So, you know, I, I, I want to think like a dukawala, all right? You better reduce your margins, but fill up your theater. Because you will make your money on, on your sodas, on your popcorns, on your turnout. So, so the thing is, there's no point in making it so expensive, and then Kenyans can't afford to come. So you end up with 10 people, and that will give the perception that uh -uh, not many people are coming. On the other side, I think we've been seeing videos, some of them true, some of them false, saying that the CBD is not a safe place. So I want to appeal to the police, the, I, uh, the IG, to make sure that for businesses to flourish at night, for 24-hour economy, we need more security at night. And during this festive period, go to the movies, have a soft drink, enjoy the movie, right? Let's keep our people safe. Drug and alcohol abuse um, is actually uh, rendering a lot of Kenyans into depression, suicides, mental health issues. So we want to make sure that we are a country that can actually build this nation together. And for that, we really need to reduce our drug, alcohol, substance abuse in this country. And there's no better way to coming here and enjoying yourself through a movie, with your family, with your loved ones, and with your would-be potential, all right? So let's have a great evening, three hours. I know we're gonna be captured. I mean, I saw the trailer and it looked amazing. So let's enjoy the movie and congratulations. I saw these were Kenyans, fellow Kenyans making the investment, all right? With an amazing Kenyan, I mean, Gatano is more Kenyan than most of us, you know, uh, who has actually gone way out of his way to ensure that you can open this facility. So everyone that's here today, let's tweet about this place, let's talk about it, and let's visit, you know, you've got one in Panari, one in Diamond Plaza, one here. So, you know, you need publicity because I didn't even know about the Diamond Plaza one. So let's just support each other because that's the only way to grow our economy. Thank you all, God bless, enjoy the movie. Thank you much. Good evening everyone. All protocols observed, our woman rep. I think this evening we come here to enjoy. We used to go to movies like this. So when you're doing that Instagram, remind that young person you're coming to a movie to have popcorns and some nice juice, you know? And because we are dealing with addiction in our country today, I think this is one of the best places we must encourage our young people to come back. So I want to appreciate, first of all, Anka, and to say that I think uh, uh, we normally go theater towards some uh, uh, African, our own, when they are talking Kikuyu, uh, Kiluya Sisana, Kikuyu. And you listen to our own, and you, you, you realize we have indeed our young people who are very innovative and who can change even the narrative of how young people look at us. And so today, as we watch, and even as we go back to the days, as he said, as Christopher said, the days of campus when you used to come here. I mean, we used to enjoy 20th century. And so we are, we are believing, we, we are trying to imagine those days and today. And I just want to say that uh, I think uh, as we celebrate Nairobi festivals, that's where we were going. That's why we are dressed like this. We were supposed to go and now 
uh, also change the culture there, but in a different way. Uh, but then uh, we said, let's go and watch this movie. And so we are hoping we'll enjoy the movie. I know we'll enjoy the movie. But more importantly is to government and to us. For me, I think how to support is to ensure my students who are number one, two, and three, they will always come and watch a movie. So that uh, I build that incentive to them while they are finishing. And I know I have some who are now finishing, uh, they are about to just finalize their Form 4 exams. So the first thing I'll do next week is to just tell them, Ebu Twende Mahali to Kawochka movie. Then those who have children's homes, you take. It's Christmas, bring them here. So we'll bring a few of them. But may the Lord bless you and may the Lord open up the place. And not just here, but make sure we change. We change as young people. We are hoping our children will change. Come out of alcohol and come here. To spend three hours, when they, by the time they're going back home, they are talking, they have knowledge, they have wisdom, and they have something to talk about. So thank you so much and God bless you.